When I was a little kid, my dad had a t-shirt. Yeah, I think he got it from a thrift store because it wasn't like a brand new shirt, but it was, it was a, just, a, just a red t-shirt with sparkly letters. And then on the front it said, Insanity is Hereditary. And on the back, in, in block letters, it said, We get it from our children. And um, as an instant little kid, I smiled because I thought, you know, I laughed. And I thought, oh, my dad's wearing so much. He's funny. Ha ha ha. But as I was growing up, I thought about it. And insanity is its kind of hereditary. I mean, it, it's its in your genes. Um, you can break out of it. But that's a different story. But the insanity is hereditary. You get it from your children. It's not true. You don't get it from your children. But if you're crazy to start with, you get crazier when you have children and, and here's my example i i look at my my neurosis my crazy as uh being worried i i've been a worrier my entire life um when i was a little kid i would worry myself sick stomach hurt you no know, and i wouldn't go to school because i was worried i'd be worried about a test i'd be worried about an assignment what about if a girl likes me or if a boy likes me, not not because I was I, w I was sexually flirting with anything. It was it was because I was lonely and I always wanted people to like me. You can't control that. You do what's in your control. Yeah, you study for the test. You do your homework. If you do bad, then oh well. I mean, but it's not something to worry about. Still, I worry about it. When I got older, young adulthood and into adulthood, I didn't stay home as often, but I still would worry so much I'd make myself sick but in, when my stomach hurt it would turn into diarrhea so I would go to the bathroom in the morning and be worried and be worried and stuff that's that's gross I'm not gonna talk about that but see what I'm talking about when you when you have kids you get crazier so if so I'm talking about worry as my crazy that's my my, my for brand of insanity was worry you have a lot to worry about when you have kids. You have sex, you have drugs, you have school violence. Now, you can't avoid those things. You really can't. But um, what I mean by school violence, I mean, I don't know if anybody y'all remember uh, Columbine. It happened before I had kids. This might not have been the first, well, I'm sure it wasn't the first of school violence, but it was the most notorious up to that point because it was on TV and all this and what had happened is there were these two loser geeks. They were they were outcast. It was like the kind of guy that I was. Outcast. And they'd been bullied, but I read up on it. I don't know if it if they reacted because they'd been bullied or what, but they came to school and shot up a bunch of people and had bombs and it was crazy. All told about, uh, I think, 23 people died. Two of them were those boys. It was a, it was a massacre slash suicide. But uh, there were lots of lives. There was panic. There were there was thousands of dollars of damage in the schools. I mean, it, it, it was crazy. And it was so well publicized. Well, uh, since then, because that was in the late 90s, since then, um... Yeah, every couple of years, or maybe maybe a couple of times a year, you, you see a lot of school violence, shootings, and that sort of thing. Anyway, when Sarah was in first grade, a boy threatened to uh, bring a knife to school and show everybody. And she told on him. She told me, and she told the teacher, and she was the one that got in trouble. Because they said, you're not supposed to tattle. And, you know, we're not supposed to tattle. But that's when when somebody's threatening violence or somebody is hurt, it's not bad. It's not considering tattling to tell. That's what I told Sarah. I was like, it's okay. You should have told. That's the right thing. We pulled her out of school. That's not the only reason. The other reason is also in first grade, a kid, this is really weird, whacked out, but this is one of the reasons why you worry. A boy propositioned her to have sex with him. My parents are not going to be home. Do you want to come over to my house? No. You don't. First grade? First grade? Come on. What are you, what are you, he probably didn't even know how to do it. But the idea that he even said it, when she mentioned to the teacher, don't start something. You know, so it's just like, what? We took it to the principal. It's like, this one boy, he's saying 
And Sarah, again, was going to get in trouble. And we're like, no. So we took her out of the school. That's probably... It's hindsight, but it's something we... You can't... You can't shield your kids completely from sex, drugs, and violence. It's going to be around. But you can you can prevent it somewhat. I mean, you can... Yeah. But you get crazier. So that's what I'm saying, because there's more to worry about. But we can't worry all the time. I mean, there's... There's, um, it's just... We can't worry. We can, we can do what we can do. We can do the best we can do. And that's all we can do.